Okay, well now I am uh, going to start uh, just separating these out, uh, these two leaves and the acorns out, uh, separating them out with a small, what's called a small football shaped bit. As you can see here, it's just, I've got it running right now, it's just a small little uh, rounded with a tip and that way I can poke into the uh, edges here and kind of cut through and uh, separate them out and I'll show you what I mean right here. This area that I'm going along right now, that is actually one lobe of the leaf that's going to be underneath. It's actually poking under the other leaf, so we go under there. Uh, right here, we want to make sure that this looks like it's underneath this one. So basically, I'm just going to go under everything here that where I've got some of these cuts. I'll be moving this around a little bit so you can see it as I go. Right here, I'm uh, trying to cut away the stem area uh, because the stem area of the acorns is going to be below. Uh, it's below the actual leaves. So I'm cutting, cutting back on those a little bit just so they're below. I'm going to just make a little cut here on the acorn just to show where the actual nut of the acorn and the cap of the acorn separate. And a couple of these lobes are actually flipping over. They're over, uh, curling over the top. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just got to make sure that'll show more depth if I have that happening there. So I'll go with that. Now I'm going to go along and I'm just going to put an edge. Just kind of roll over the edge all the way along uh, the entire set of leaves. You can see what I'm doing here. Just rounding the edges a little bit. Nothing really complicated about it. Just rounding the edges a bit. Because there are not really going to be any sharp edges. Now this is in an inlaid style. So what that means is um, everything's going to be rounded and it's going to be a little bit lower. It's not going to be where the exterior is lower and that the uh, the interior carved area is higher. That's going to be a relief type carving. This is inlaid where everything's going to be carved inside. So um, if I make sure that you can see what I'm doing here. Just right at the edges. And of course you can see right now that this is actually uh, these are actually uh, stained uh, cut into stained wood you know so, so I actually have to uh, I have to make sure that uh, I'm eventually going to be you know cutting everything down low um, lower than the initial area so what's going to happen is every carved area I have here as you can see right there is going to be white wood so as I go along, I do have to kind of cut what I uh, put the edges where I can, and then I'll have to move it a little bit. Spin it around here so you can see what I'm doing from a different angle. Like I said, I'm just rounding the edges of the leaves, and then I'll be switching over to a different uh, shape a bit different burr and that will uh, when I shape uh, use different shapes uh, I'll be I'll be doing different things with them uh, the next one I'm going to put on here you'll see that I'm actually going to take and uh, take all the uh, um, first off I'm going to dig out the areas uh, the uh, areas that I rubbed out with the round uh, diamond earlier I'm going to uh, dig them quite deep uh, that way uh, the stem of the acorns is going to be able to sh be shown real easily. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you how we're, how that works, uh, how it looks when we're done with that.